All right, all right, everyone. Welcome, welcome. I really didn't feel like doing any videos or work today, but um, you know, uh, now that things are you know going to calm down a tad bit in the stock markets, you know, I really need this weekend to relax. Maybe I might actually visit my parents because actually I forgot it was uh, Father's Day. <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe I should visit the old folks. Uh, on the other hand, I kind of want to avoid using the subway because, you know, how bad it is here in uh, New York City. I, the good news is Eric Adams at least seems to be not a complete idiot, so he is trying to clean up the crime and stuff, so, you know, it should, it should be fine. Uh, but before we get started, because I do want to talk about yesterday's video before we get started with Kronos Farm, uh, someone left a comment on YouTube which I read after I made my videos. So let's see. It says, Hey, my dad watches you all the time and he loves your news. So thank you. Uh, since Daddy's Day is coming up, can you give a shout out to Mike? Okay, so happy Father's Day, Mike. I should stop slouching in my chair. It's this chair. That's the problem. From Jake, Deb, and Rye with an R-Y uh, in an upcoming video. It would mean a lot. Yeah. So, uh, your kids are ha wishing you a happy Daddy's Day, Father's Day, this uh, Sunday, right? Uh, Mike. So, um, yeah. And you did your job well. It sounds like you have, like, three kids. So, that's, uh, that's, that's good, you know, because you actually, in order to keep the population going, you need 2.1 children. So, the fact that you had three kids means you're way above average because, you know, us, especially us millennial losers, you know, we're not exactly... Uh, doing our part because, you know, we're actually now poor and, well, uh, stupid. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you know, happy Father's Day, Mike. Uh, and, yeah, that actually kind of reminds me, and, and thanks, by the way, for that comment on YouTube. So, it actually kind of make, uh, reminds me that, you know, somebody's listening and hopefully getting some value out of this. So, yeah, it actually helps justify why I do this. Because if nobody watched this and nobody cared, then I just wouldn't do these videos. It's like, okay, well, I'm just wasting my time, you know? So, so yeah, yeah, uh, that's good. That's good. You know, keep, uh, keep it coming, you know? That's why I need your feedback so I can give you feedback and then, you know, keep the thing going. Especially now that, you know, things are really not looking good. You know, today is an update in the markets, but, oh, okay, well, never mind. <laughs> It was actually going to look up, but it looks like, again, the st Wall Street and the smart money know what's going on, right? Oh, yeah, and this will transition now into yesterday's video. Yeah, the, the central banks, the Fed and the European Union, Central Bank, ECB, they've been buying up the debt since at least yesterday morning. Uh, at least when I woke up at like 6 a.m. last night. Well, last morning, yesterday morning. Uh, yeah, and I've been watching the stock markets. They're not buying the bullshit. We're going lower. So, yeah. All right. Works for me. I mean, and the fact that they've tried doing this. This right here is already going to create crazy inflation. Like, I'm already, I'm guessing that the June CPI, I don't know if it'll, it'll be that quick. Uh, from the way it looks, it should be. So when we get the report for this month on July 13th, because that's when, uh, that's what Google says... Own C, what is it called? CPI inflation next report. I forgot the exact term, but yeah. So the June 2022 will be released July 13th at uh, 8:30 a.m. New York City time. So this is the BLS Bureau of Labor Statistics. So the inflate. I'm thinking that inflation is definitely going to hit double digits now. In fact, you might you might see it at the grocery store and pumps, uh, price pumps. Well, with that being said, I mean, I have noticed crude oil has been going down a lot <laughs> because everyone's now losing all their money. So there's a lot of uh, demand destruction, quote unquote, going on. So which means people are not making as much. Uh, they're, they're, everything's more expensive. So they have to. So profits are co uh, come down. So there's always like a seesaw effect. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. But I'm definitely still remaining short. And cryptocurrencies are still under pressure. Like, that's why, see, that's the thing. The smart money is not buying the bullshit in the stock markets, and they're not buying the bullshit in the cryptocurrency markets, which makes me think that, you know, we're still heading further down, right? You know, it's just a matter of how do you want to profit off of that. So, I still have my mixed feelings about gold, silver, crude oil, of course, and commodities, because they're not doing what they're supposed to. I mean, so, it's like, you know what? 
if I know or think that the market's going to crash, I'm just going to buy a short ETF, right? Like something that goes up when the S&P 500, for example, goes down, right? So, you know, um, yeah, so legally I can say this, right? So I won't get in trouble with the S, uh, SEC, but because, you know, everyone's reporting Greg Manorino. I assume it's because everyone's been losing money, so they need to blame someone. Uh, I bought... SPDN and specifically I'm going to be concentrating on buying SPXS which is these are both Direxion daily S&P 500 short ETFs or bear as you can see here bear bear right now I don't actually think that this we look back let's see so at the height of the 2008-2009 crisis, this thing peaked out at 113,225. Okay, so I actually got this wrong. I thought this number was actually a million because the number was so large and so long ago. Uh, but yeah, you guys can, and gals can see this. So this is what I'm buying. Now, I'm going to be happy if SPXS, when this is all over and the S&P 500 is like 400 or 80 or 800 or whatever the Great Depression is going to be. You know, I'd be happy if this thing hits 10 grand, right? Because if I had 100 shares and it was worth 10 grand a share, I have a million dollars, right? And I'm just going to buy. Then I won't even need to care about mortgage rates or interest rates. I'm just going to buy cash, uh, uh, real estate wholesale uh, I mean, with all cash, right? And I'll set some money aside for repairs and living expenses and whatever, and then just go to town. Oh, and the best part is interest rates are going to be very high at that point, right? So, you know, I'll just make a lot of money, uh, you know, yield farming dollars or something so uh so yeah so that's what i'm doing that way i don't have to deal with the manipulators the big banks uh you know the fact that you know this dumb shit especially gold and silver is not going up when everything else goes down like or there's a very laggy effect it's like you know what i just don't want to deal with it so you know that, that's that's still my stance you know that's still my stance but you know, I, I but when the market crashes, I know what 100% will work, which is an inverse ETF, right? And I in my yesterday's YouTube video has the link to the list of list of reverse ETFs. Um, this should be the page, yeah. So the, you can get all the so you want to just short something, you just buy all this. You, know, you can buy any of this stuff that you want. You just take a look. Now you do have to look at something called a expense ratio. But to be honest, I think you could just ignore it because you're not going to be holding this for like 10, 20 years. That's, uh, but basically an expense ratio means if everything remains flat, the stock markets or whatever it is you're trying to short, uh, after one year, you will lose like half a percent or 1% on your total investment because, because these ETFs, they have to, you know, pay their bills, pay their employees, you know, short the market, which has fees, right? So that's what the expense ratio is. So just care, uh, keep that in mind. Now, of course, I don't care because I know crashes are done and over with very quickly. Right? There'll be a long, painful, like 12, 18 months or whatever. But, you know, hey, if the S&P 500 drops, I mean, we're already dropped from 4,800. So if it keeps dropping from what it is now to like 800, I mean, your, your returns are so astronomical that you could just simply ignore the expense ratio and then just sell at the bottom, and, that, and, and that'll be it, you know? So. All right, anyway, uh, so I actually want to keep stocking up on groceries because uh, I really don't like all those fires and cattle, especially that video, the, all that dead cattle. It was, like, very... I mean, I've seen some crazy shit in my life, but that did look pretty, uh, both suspicious... It was very suspicious and just, like... I guess the word I'm looking for is grim. I was like, geez, you know. When that, and when I went to the store yesterday, I bought like an entire bag of like hamburger <laughs> meat. So I was like, okay. But yeah, uh, Ian Miles Chong's Twitter had a bunch of replies that I read. And they all said, I'm a rancher this, I'm a farmer that, this is all BS. It's actually hotter in Kansas or what, some other place. And our cattle don't die like that, not at all. Yeah, and then you got the food factory fires. So, yeah, I, I totally know that. I mean, we'll definitely know that the conspiracy. I already assume it's a conspiracy, right? Not a theory, but an actual conspiracy because they need to. Because they know what's going on in Russia and Ukraine. Like, the narrative has completely fallen apart now. So, they need a new crisis to blame inflation. So, 
the food crisis is is that. So that's why they're getting started now, so that when the June report comes out July, that's what I'm thinking, the inflation will be through the roof, and then they're going to turbocharge the food crisis, right? He says, that's the reason why we have inflation. It's not the Fed. Look here. Don't look over there. It's like so, it's like such evil bullshit. It kind of pisses me off. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm stocking up on, uh, Protein, uh, I'm going to buy more bread because apparently there's a wheat crisis somehow. So I don't know about that, but just in case, I'll just buy bread and uh, cheese. You know, cheese comes from dairy, right, from cows specifically. So obviously if all the cattle and cows are dying, well, I mean, that, we're probably going to have a shortage on, like, milk products, right? So it, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's just, it's like the... the like, it's insane. It's just insane. Like, how do these evil globalist F-words think this is going to work, man? And, it, oh, yeah, I want to finish my thought. I'll know that the conspiracy is 100% true is when Twitter starts banning everybody who talks about it. So far, they haven't done that, all right? So, you know, I assume Elon Musk will be able to buy Twitter in, like, I don't know, three months would be uh, optimistic. So, yeah, so that's how you'll know you get the kind of information because, again, right, who lords over you? Who rules over you? Find out who you cannot criticize, right? You cannot criticize. Actually, I better be careful because I don't want uh, YouTube to flag this video. So, you still can't criticize in any way a certain situation that's happening in Europe right now, right? So, yeah, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. All right, so anyway, let's get this done because I want to get out of here. I want to. Yes, play my games, but I really just need to try to relax, so, okay. Uh, where am I? All right, so we're only covering two crypto projects today. Both are miners, of course. Actually, one is a miner. The other one's a hybrid, I think, uh, Titano-style project and miner. I don't actually know. We'll, we'll find out. I was going to do three, but the third one was actually satanic. Like, they have, like, Moloch and 666 and all this evil devil stuff. I was like, you know what? You know, I'm just going to not cover it. So, uh, But you could check, I think, Yada Crypto's YouTube channel if you're that interested. But I would actually stay away from that, especially if you're a Christian, because you really should not be actively working with, the, you know, Satan, you know, because that's not good. All right. So this project apparently is going to launch in an hour and a half, right? Uh, three and a half daily profit. Uh, okay, great. Uh, this is of course on the Kronos network. I guess you don't have to worry about the fees anymore because everything is like worthless. <laughs> Crypto. In fact, uh, how much is Kronos right now? I wouldn't be surprised if it's like 10 cents. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, I was right. Yeah, I was actually really close. It's 11.33 cents. Okay, so it's really cheap. I, I wouldn't even look at Phantom. Uh, well, actually, it's worth like 21 cents. Yeah. <laughs> so... It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Crypto, that is. All right, so this is a crops farmer fork, apparently. Yeah, this is a crops farmer fork. It definitely looks like a crops farmer fork. Uh, obviously, they changed the graphics around. All right, so that's good. This is a crops farmer fork. So I'll make sure I write that in the YouTube description. Um, okay, so there's a 5% compound bonus. I assume there's a maximum. We can find out what it is. Uh, wait, hold on a sec. Okay, wait. This is... Hold on. Is this an act? Is this a minor project? No, this is actually a yield... This is a, yield, a crops farmer yield staker fork. Oh, okay. Kronos Farm is a decentralized app built on Binance Smart Chain. What? Let me log into my dummy mask here. You need to connect to Kronos Network. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is Kronos Network. Okay, so they... Yeah, because this is a fork of... Uh, Yield staker on Binance Smart Chain from Crops Farmer. So he, he didn't change the thing here. <laughs> okay, so this is actually on the Kronos Network. 
Uh, okay, so if it's just like Yield Staker, there's only you only get a one-time 5% compound bonus. But let's see. Yeah, there's a maximum of 200,000 crow. Uh, there's a max. Yeah, so before I go on, this this should be the trajectory of like the current DeFi, especially in today's market conditions. Everything is just going Yield Staker, so which is good because that's actually a better way of doing uh, this. On the other hand, miners, because they have natural dilution of your rewards and you lose money over time, right, unless you keep compounding, um, you know, that's actually, that could be just as sustainable too, because right now, Crops Farm Yield Staker is draining TVL like crazy. I don't like it. So now I'm just going to keep, like, doing max withdrawals every single 24 hours and then just hope I get not only my initial principal back, but some profit. And I'm just going to put some of that, you know, before living expenses into BNB miner. Because right now, that's the only thing that's growing. Like, for some reason, like, there's a lot of BNB going to BNB miner. So, which is great, because I'm probably going to need to live off of that at this point. All right. So, referrals, max active, 200k Kronos. Uh, you can withdraw 5,000 a day. So, I had 5,000 uh, Kronos a day times, let's just say 11 cents, because I don't want to do it. You're looking at about $60 a day. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. So this is a very small thing. So you have to wait 12 hours to compound. Yeah, there's a 24-hour withdrawal co uh, coupon cooldown. And, of course, you have 48 hours to take some kind of action. So it's exactly like Yield Staker, but in Kronos form. Okay, so it looks like they copied the exact tokenomics of the reward system as well so it's exactly like yield staker yeah it's exactly yield staker so i already know the math so the best one is actually plan three of course um yeah because it has the best balance between making a lot of money now but still kind of an okay duration which is 60 days right uh let's see and there's a maximum chrono so when you run, so when you hit the maximum Kronos cap, especially because Kronos is so cheap, uh, you know, it's up to you how you want to, you know, go into the other plans. Me, personally, I go in reverse. So plan three, then plan two, then plan one, right? And the reason why is because plan four has the lowest ROI. So, and I already did the math, too. So plan three and plan two ultimately give you the same amount of money as roughly... And then plan one gives you the most money if you're willing to wait the 200 days. So that's how I do it, you know, so. And then plan three is the fastest money, but you also get the least. So it's like, to me, there's no point in doing, I mean, plan four. So there's no point in doing plan four for me personally, all right? But of course it's Kronos, so it probably doesn't matter. You'll max everything out, so just max everything out. Um, yeah, because <laughs> Kronos is like worthless, basically, uh, along with all the other uh, crypto that's like, useless right now sadly um all right uh all right hold on let me see let me do that kind of missed them yeah uh all right let's see bull our bear i exposed the fact all right so they get back from the mediocre that's a, i actually will retweet that that is actually true yeah, anybody can make a money money in bull markets, but it's bear markets where you find out who the real cojones people are. Uh, it's gonna be a poor. I don't know. I'm about to unfollow this guy, but I mean, I, I guess we'll see. I don't know. I mean, unusual whales follows him, right? Oh, unusual whales does not follow him. Yeah, I guess we'll keep it here for now. So, we'll, oh, I know, Richard Hart. You know, maybe I should follow him and unfollow the other guy. Because Richard Hart is the. Did you know I was a licensed mortgage broker? Really? Mortgage cost doubled in one point five years. Real estate is screwed. Wait, what? Where I call it doubled in one and one and a half years? Yeah. Uh, crypto, Twitter, Bitcoin, bulls. Okay. Um, okay, so he does actually uh, tweet act uh, actively. Because this is the guy that is uh, 
was apparently one of the people who called the tops and bottoms, and he's saying he's betting that Bitcoin is going to hit eleven thousand. But I'm also checking uh, to see if he's updated that. He also appears to have created Hexcoin. So I know Hexcoin was really good, but it's probably down like everyone else. So Bitcoin makes an new all-time high on the discount to NAV chart. You can get grayscale Bitcoin for thirty-three point seventy-five cheaper than real Bitcoin now. Oh boy. Okay, and then that's the end of that. All right, so let me just clean this up because, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I kind of don't generally don't like doing that burn, but oh, I'll do that. But the problem is, I actually do rely on the homepage now to like retweet shit. The kind of uh, in the West is designed for those who cannot read or write. That's hundred percent true. This is pretty funny. Ah. Uh... Let's see. Globalists are in a state. This fight. Crisis. There we go. All right. All right. So we went through that. Okay. So. All right, there was a reason why I wanted to do that real quick. Well, unfortunately, I kind of forgot. So, all right, well, I still assume that things will be under pressure for quite a while, at least, at least in crypto especially. Uh, and we, until, we, until we get that bottom, uh, 11,000 Bitcoin, that's what Richard Hart is saying, you know, we'll reevaluate. All I know is everything is not doing what it's supposed to, and everything's correlated with the stock markets and worldwide markets, right? I did the video on that yesterday. So I'm expecting more pain, right? Uh, but with that being said, I do like this project. Uh, again, you know, I just don't want to do anything with crypto right now. I already have my safe positions. I'm not going to change it, especially because everyone's draining PVL like crazy because everyone's just panicking and dumping everything. So, uh, yeah. But with that being said, you know, you have an hour and a half. Oh, actually, it's going to be a little less than that when you watch this video because of processing times. You can decide if you want to check this out. I mean, under normal circumstances, uh, Kronos Farm should do really well. But right now, things are just so bad that everyone is literally just dumping all their crypto. And they're also just max withdrawing everything from all their DeFi projects, which means that everything's got, like projects are going to start failing when they should not be failing. So because of that risk, it's like, all right, I'm just not going to do anything new. All right, I'm, I'm going to wait for the bottom. I'm going to buy more BNB to put in the BNB miner. I'm going to hopefully crops yield farmer for BOSD will still be there. So I want to keep that going and compounding. I've stopped compounding on that. So, and then I'm going to buy more sphere. I'm going to buy more Titano. I'm going to buy more Royal pay. Um, so yeah. All right. Anyway, this video is already a little long because we have to cover a lot of ground, you know, specifically outside of this particular project. But, um, you know, like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the uh, old and new people watching this video. And, um, yeah, I rely on all of you to spread the word and keep growing this channel because right now people really need to hear this stuff, especially when I go over the overall markets because people are getting killed, you know, in the markets right now. And it's going to continue to get worse. Wait, it's 9.37 a.m. Yeah, look. Look at, look at the distortions in the markets. Look at this. The Russell is down 5%, but... You're going to tell me that everything else in America is doing well, so it justifies a half a percent to one percent? Like, this is just so stupid. This is just so stupid. And yeah, look, this is working exactly like it should. All right, the SPX is down compared 3x about of the S&P 500, and SPDN is down pretty much the same as the opposite of the positive. So it's perfect. See, I like this. See, this is why, and look. PDBC is going down, which is what Greg Manorino is all in on, right? I mean, again, you got to watch my video from yesterday. I just don't like how gold, silver, crude oil commodities are not doing what they're supposed to do, and cryptocurrencies, of course, because, again, it's about the smart money, right? Your Black Rocks, your Vanguards, your JP Morgans, all right? They've been doing this for, like, hundreds of years, all right? So, you know, like I said in yesterday's video, I just call bullshit on all of it, so... You know what? I'm just going to short the market. All right, that's what I'm doing. All right, today's going to be an update, possibly, but it doesn't look that way. Like this, 
Everyone knows that it's bullshit. Everyone knows it's bullshit, all right? We know that it's the Fed buying up all this debt and everyone else is selling off. So we're like, you know what? F yourselves and then we'll just see. So if it pumps hyper, I'm definitely going to buy way more SPXS, all right? It's going to be like dirt cheap. I'm not going to care that I'm taking so-called paper losses because I know it's all lies. And all you have to do is just wait for the inflation report to come out, all right? It'll just keep going bam, 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 higher and higher and higher. Federal Reserve is going to have to raise interest rates, and then that's it, you know, boom. You know, S&P 500 is going to go down to like 400, 800, or whatever it is, all right, 80% of the all-time high, all right? That was Greg Manorino's estimate, and he said that's a conservative estimate, so 85, 90%. Funny enough, it's going to act exactly like cryptocurrencies, dropping 85% or more. That's what Richard Hart's number was. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, it should definitely be short because we don't have to, uh, I don't know. If I come up with something else, I'll mention in the next video. But definitely check out Kronos Farm. It normally should be a good project, but just be aware of the overall global macro situation. And people are just dumping everything and withdrawing everything. So, you know, that's something you have to worry about. Uh, aside from that, I mean, this, is, uh, this looks pretty good. I mean, assuming these guys are not a scam, rug pull type of project. Uh, it should do well, all right? It should do well, you know? So, and I do want to invest in, when things are more normalized, I do want to invest more yield stakers, all right? I, I, you know, as much as I like miners, yield stakers, I think, are much better, right? Because I don't, I don't get dilution, right? So, uh, blah, 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 or the outro. Okay, I'll just see you next video. Thanks. <laughs>